The US trucking industry is a $700 billion behemoth, which is higher than the GDPs of 150 countries. Though the trucking industry doesn't see the explosions that are common within the tech sector, they have consistently been growing a solid 3 to 5% annually year after year after year. In fact, with current projections, there's actually expected to be a trucker shortage by 2026. Unfortunately, however, the 7.7 million people working in the trucking industry today should brace for disruption as the Tesla Semi enters the market. Starting off, switching over to electric autonomous trucks is a no-brainer for retailers and logistics companies as the savings are quite substantial. Walmart has already secured 130 semi-trucks from Tesla worth tens of millions of dollars. And they have committed to switch to 100% electric by 2040. Now, that is a bit of a longer time frame, but I think Walmart is just giving themselves extra time to switch over. Thus, the vast majority of transitions will be complete by 2030 to 2035. And if you don't believe me, then just take a look at the cost savings starting with fuel expenses. Currently, the average loaded semi-truck in the US only gets 6 miles per gallon. The best trucks are able to push up to 8.5 and, and even 10.5 miles per gallon. So we'll give the edge to traditional trucks and call it 8 miles per gallon. The average semi-truck is driven 45,000 miles per year, meaning that they consume approximately 5,625 gallons of diesel per year. According to the US Energy Information Administration, the retail price of diesel per gallon is in the lower mid twos. But this is after a recent crash in March and April. If we take a look at the average price per gallon over the past 3 years, this actually comes out to nearly $3 per gallon. But again, we'll give the trucking industry a bit of an edge and call it $2.75 per gallon. This means that with 5,625 gallons of diesel per year, this would run you $15,468 in fuel expenses per year per truck. With Tesla, on the other hand, they advertise less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile. So we'll just call it 2. As of August 2020, the average price per kilowatt hour was just 13.31 cents. Now, of course, using Tesla's supercharger network would actually cost these companies 25 cents per kilowatt hour. However, I doubt that this will be the path that they choose, as we don't see semi trucks pulling up to regular gas stations today. Over the past few decades, companies have been significantly reducing the distance between their warehouses and their final destinations. In fact, in 2005, the average length of long haul routes was 800 miles, but by 2012, this was only 500 miles, and this rate of decline is set to simply be accelerating. Considering this, I think it's pretty safe to assume that companies will ensure that the vast majority of their routes are conservatively less than 500 miles, which is the max that Tesla Semi can handle. This way, they can charge the trucks themselves, at their warehouses, and then at their retail locations, meaning that they won't have to deal with any third-party charging networks, which will likely overcharge them for electricity. Thus, companies will end up paying the US average of 13.31 cents per kilowatt hour, if not less. For the same 45,000 miles per year, we get fuel expenses of just under $12,000. This means that each Tesla semi truck will save the company three to $4,000 per year just in fuel expenses. Over the average 15 to 16 year lifespan of a semi truck, that comes out to over $50,000 in savings. Moving on, we of course have autonomy. Tesla has been making significant strides towards fully autonomous vehicles, and if you have checked out their latest FSD beta, you'll know that it's officially just a matter of time until Tesla cracks the code. Currently, full self-driving from Tesla only costs $10,000, which is expensive for the average person, but an extraordinary deal for commercial customers. However, it's very unlikely that Tesla will sell full self-driving to logistics companies and retailers for just $10,000. Elon Musk has previously tweeted that with regulatory approval, full self-driving is worth over $100,000. But given that customers like Walmart and Sam's Club will be buying these Tesla semi-trucks in bulk, 
will say that they'll be able to score $100,000 per autonomous truck license. This is an enormous upfront cost, even for commercial customers, as it increases the cost of the truck by over 50% right from the start. But they of course will consider the long term, in which this price is still a steal. The thing is, the average semi-truck driver gets paid between 28 and 40 cents per mile. Calling it in the middle, we have 34 cents per mile. The average truck driving 45,000 miles per year for 16 years would rack up 720,000 miles. Given that Tesla has been working on developing a million mile battery and may very well have already been unofficially successful at doing so, handling 720,000 miles shouldn't be a problem. Anyways, dividing the $100,000 autonomous software cost by 720,000 miles, we get a per mile price of just under 14 cents, which is a 59% reduction in comparison to the average truck driver. Over the lifespan of a traditional semi-truck, approximately $244,800 will go towards trucker pay, which is upwards of $150,000 more expensive than autonomy software from Tesla. Aside from this, there is one more important factor to consider, which is efficiency. Long haul truckers generally work very hard, but unfortunately, humans simply cannot compete with the efficiency of a machine that needs no rest whatsoever. Truckers need to sleep, eat, and take breaks to avoid driving fatigue and potentially dangerous driving. In fact, truckers are limited to driving 11 hours per day. Even if autonomous trucks were only as efficient as human truckers, they can simply drive longer every single day. If the average trucker is able to drive up to 11 hours per day, the average autonomous truck can likely drive 22 hours per day. Really, the only downtime with the Tesla Semi is the charging time, and companies can pair up a lot of the charging time with unloading and loading times. Building up a gas station for semi trucks behind each target is extremely expensive and doesn't make sense. But putting in a couple of superchargers in the unloading zone isn't that expensive and would save charging time during the actual trip. With that being said, Tesla semi trucks will be able to work for at least twice the time of the average trucker. Before we get into the total cost savings per truck, there are several smaller savings as well when switching over to electric autonomous trucks. First of all, companies won't have to pay for the insurance of their workers, nor their Medicare and Social Security taxes. On top of this, companies will also likely profit from cheaper insurance bills for their trucks, as a proven autonomy system is likely much safer than human truckers. They'll probably also benefit from less maintenance, as there are less parts that can go bad with electric vehicles. Not to mention, they don't have to deal with oil changes and emissions inspections. And what about tax write-offs and incentives for switching to electric vehicles? Really, there are a plethora of smaller cost advantages for switching to Tesla semis, which will likely add up to tens of thousands of dollars themselves over the truck's lifespan. With that being said, let's figure out the total cost savings per truck. The traditional semi-truck costs between $130,000 and $200,000 we'll call it $160,000 on average. Saying that the average truck travels 750,000 miles before being retired, fuel costs would come out to $257,812, and trucker pay would come out to $255,000, which comes out to a total of $672,812 throughout the truck's lifetime. Tesla, on the other hand, charges $150,000 for the 300 mile version and $180,000 for the 500 mile version. Considering that this is long haul trucking, we'll assume that most buyers go with the 500 mile variant. Over 750,000 miles, we would see electricity costs of $199,650, or right about 200 grand. Adding on another 100 grand for the autonomy software, we have a total cost of $480,000, which is $192,000 cheaper than traditional trucks. Adding in all of the smaller benefits we previously outlined, Tesla semi trucks will save well over $200,000 each. To make things even worse for traditional trucking, Tesla semis will be twice as efficient, meaning that companies will only have to buy half as many. So, for every two traditional semi trucks companies own, which cost them a total of $1.345 million, 
they only have to buy one Tesla Semi, which would cost them $480,000. This means that each Tesla Semi is equivalent to about 2.8 traditional semis. Also, let's be clear here, we gave traditional trucks the advantage throughout all of this. We assumed that the average truck was actually more fuel efficient than they really are. We assumed that diesel prices are lower than they usually are. And we assumed that truckers drive the full 11 hours per day every single day of the week. So our total $200,000 cost saving estimation per truck is actually extremely conservative. In fact, Tesla themselves estimate that fuel savings alone will be more than $200,000. So when they come out with their autonomy cost saving estimates, we'll probably see them throw out a total of $300,000 to $400,000 in savings per truck, which would indicate that each Tesla Semi is equivalent to 4 to 5 traditional semis. Anyways, whatever the final number is, it's no question that Tesla Semi is multiples more cost effective than the average Semi today, meaning that the industry will instantly shift to Tesla Semis as soon as it's possible, simply to make more money thus devastating the traditional long-haul trucking industry. When do you guys predict this transition will occur? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you guys hope that our long-haul truckers are able to find employment soon after this transition. And of course, consider checking out our community discord to suggest future video ideas, and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.